Hey Skate Dreamers, we finally made it to Border Park and Massachusetts. Um, oh, we're so excited. Got my knee pads, got um, hand sanitizer, I think I got everything. Let's go. Escape the rumors, Brandon here. Oh my God, we're at Bodeborg, Boston. Finally, <laughs> it's been a long time that we've been trying to make it over here. And I had the pleasure of meeting with Chad. Chad, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Good to meet you. So Chad has just gave me a little tour of what you can expect when you get here. We haven't even started playing yet. I'm so excited. I'm gonna use some of that excitement as energy so I can get through some of the rooms. Um, but just to let you know, we're in Malden. Massachusetts yeah. and uh, again we're at Bodeboy we're gonna try some of the games or try to get through some of the games but before we do so I gotta hit Chad with our five key questions all right ready. let's go number one when did Bodeboy Boston open so we opened just over four years ago okay. uh, October 3rd um, will be our fifth birthday this year wow four years going on five years yeah wow okay and um, I usually I ask this question for escape room owners mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure you might have the same answer we ask how many games do you have available at your location so how many do you have available here uh, so we have 19 quests right now um, we're expanding next door adding on another six so that'll bring us up to a total of 25 um, and we are always changing quests, so okay. usually uh, when we have 25, it'll really mean 24 with one under construction because gotcha. we're always closing one and then opening another one uh, when we built it. And what, is there an ETA on when that other section would be available? So the build out uh, should be finished this spring. We're hoping to have one or two quests open this summer mm -hmm. and then all the rest we want to open on October 3rd for our fifth birthday party. Oh, wow, that's going to be yeah. packed. We're fortunate to be here on a Monday night, and it's not that bad. I think you told me you told me about like a hundred people for. Uh, yeah, there could be a hundred people here over the course of the night. Um, maybe a little more on a you know summer Monday. It could go as high as two hundred over the right. course of the night, but you will find it feels almost empty with that many people. Right. Yeah, hundred is like nothing for them. <laughs> um, our third key question is: Where does the inspiration come for most of these games that are being built? Like the ideas, concepts. Uh, so we have a team here, but we also uh, work really closely with our counterparts in Sweden. Okay. Uh, Bodeborg started in Sweden over 20 years ago, and there's seven locations there. Wow. Uh, we send teams over. They sometimes send teams here. Uh, we meet, we talk, we're Skyping with each other. Um, but the ideas can come from almost anywhere. I mean, sometimes it's a single challenge. Uh, we have a quest here called Awesome, which I just showed you. Yeah. Um, you haven't done the second challenge in Awesome, but the entire quest was built around the vision of that room. Uh, Potions was inspired by the idea of creating a magical school mm -hmm. and the idea there was when it's finally time for Potions to, to leave, it'll be replaced by another school of magic. So you'll, oh, you'll be able to sort of do too. the entire wizard journey uh, wow. through all those different quests. Um, Alcatraz, obviously inspired by actual Alcatraz prison and people wanting to escape. Yeah. Uh, so in inspiration can come from almost anything. Okay. Um, our fourth key question is how are the bookings done here? Like are they in groups? Are they private? Public, private, like I know usually we ask that question, so yeah, yeah. how is it done in Bodeboard? Okay, so here uh, everything is private in the sense that uh, you do bring your own team, and so you need at least three people to quest. If you mm -hmm. come in a group that's uh, too large to be one team, then you'll split up into smaller quest teams. What's too large? Um, so we recommend teams of three to five as a quest team. Uh, you can go as high as six, and we, when we have teams of six, it's usually for social reasons that they'd right. rather be together than split. Uh, they can decide halfway through their visit that they want to split. Uh, but once you get over six, you really need to uh, break up into teams. Gotcha. Um, and then when you're questing, it's a little different from an escape room. 
Uh, in an escape room, you are in the, the room or the set of rooms or the game, whatever you're calling it, uh, and you're in it for an hour or so, and you either succeed or you fail, and when you're finished, you come out, and no one else is doing it while you're there. Right, right. Uh, a quest, you're going in and out constantly all the time, because you may fail a challenge, step out of the quest, talk to each other, come up with a new plan, try that quest again, or move on to a new quest. Maybe you come back to it later on in your visit. Mm -hmm. um, and as a result, more than one team can be doing a quest at the same time, but there will never be more than one team in the room with you. So right. if you go into the first room, the quest won't let another team go in until you've either failed and left or succeeded and advanced to the second room of that quest. Right. So it is, in a sense, private, but yes. for that amount of time that you're in there. Exactly. So when you, are, when you are working on a challenge, you are always just with your team. Gotcha. All right. And our uh, last key question is mm -hmm. to get to know Chad a little bit better. Something about you that most people wouldn't know. Uh, so shockingly, I'm a huge geek, um, but this extends. I used to play on the Magic the Gathering Pro Tour uh, oh. back in the day. Oh. Uh, I self-published uh, a few games of my own uh, before doing Bodeborg. And the thing that makes me sound cooler than I am is I <laughs> once hired Christina Aguilera to perform uh, at a at a, a product launch event, wow! Um, but I didn't get to meet her, so not really that cool. Um, how long did you have her for? One song? Uh, it was it was uh, it was a few songs. It was one like big blowout party. Okay, <laughs> and uh, we know Chad is a gamer. He he's a fan of just the qu culture of escape rooms and questing. Was there an escape room or a quest that you've done that was memorable for you? It doesn't have to be your favorite. Just one that stood out. Um, I think, I mean, there are so many. I think uh, I've really been, um, I think I think the thing for me was really the quests. When I first went to Sweden and tried questing and I just, I was obsessed. The first time I did it, I did it for four hours. All I wanted to do was eat, sleep, and quest again. <laughs> and I love it so much. Last summer, my family and I took uh, our first real vacation in a long time. And we went to Europe for two weeks. We spent one week visiting with my family okay. uh, who were staying in Italy. And we spent the other week in Sweden questing for seven days straight. I've oh never been so tired. God. Well, six days, I guess. It was a little travel. At the same location as Two Sweden, different or? locations. Okay. We went to Oxilisund and Karlskoga. Uh, we have great friends at both of those locations. They've both sent teams here. And uh, we just quested nonstop. We were so exhausted and wow. bruised everywhere. I mean, it was great, but uh, pretty, pretty serious. <sighs> this is what I have to look forward to within <laughs> a, the next uh, five hours. <laughs> well, hey, Chad, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. We're about to venture on into some of these quests and see how far we get. But you guys need to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get a sneak peek of what you can expect inside some of these rooms. Also, check out our review on what we thought of Bodeborg so you know what to expect when you get here and you won't be disappointed. Take it easy. Bye. Thank you. Something else.